What is up, YouTube? It is me, Tim, your sexy badass guest host for this week's uh, tonight's double feature, uh, featured here on B Movie Mania. And um, just real quick, I'm gonna crack open a beverage. We got a Polar Pop Seltzer, not a sponsor, but uh, just a nice little delicious little fizzy water. wonderful so Paul asked me to pick out a double feature and talk about a couple movies and so I came up with one that you've probably all seen and one maybe you haven't heard of and I think they work very well together as a pair and uh, so I went with John Carpenter's They Live which is a classic. Um, I have this now on the Shout Factory 4K release, which um, new 4K transfer, 7.1 Dolby Atmos, all the extra features in the world. Uh, looks great. It's a beautiful, beautiful film. Uh, in terms of a 4K release, Shout Factory always does great work. Their Blu-ray is excellent as well. Take a peek. And then I have from the, from the Warner Brothers Archive Collection, Michael Crichton's Looker. Uh, this is a film written and directed by Michael Crichton. Uh, yes, the, the, the guy who wrote Jurassic Park and Congo and Sphere and all sorts of great novels. Uh, that Michael Crichton. So this is a movie he made in 81, I believe, 81, 82, and uh, just released on the Warner Brothers Archives Blu-ray. Um, pretty no frills release, which is understandable because it's uh, not a whole lot of people know this movie in particular. Uh, Michael Crichton's not around anymore, so we can't get a commentary track or anything like that. But, um, oh, there is actually a commentary track by Michael Crichton. So it must have been like an old laser disc or maybe like early DVD release. And they just kept that and transferred it over. Um, some deleted scenes, things like that. Like I said, no frills, but some really interesting stuff in terms of a film. Um, so why I picked these two movies is because of some shared themes and some shared structures and I think that they together work really well as a pair so I'll start with they live just because I figure most people have seen this this is John Carpenter's film with Roddy Piper and Peter David and it is about um, Los Angeles in the early 80s, um, homelessness, the economy crashed, uh, people are struggling to find work, people are struggling to have uh, a place to live, food to eat, things like that. It's pretty rough. And our hero, Roddy Piper, stumbles on a pair of sunglasses, which you can kind of see on the cover that filter his vision in a way so that he can see the aliens that are secretly controlling society. Um, so through this film, we learn that the aliens are kind of using subliminal messages through marketing and advertising to keep people occupied and pacified and, and controlled socially, economically, culturally, and there is a small resistance of folks that learns about this conspiracy and tries to do something to stop it, all while kind of being chased by the alien force. Um, again, this is one of Carpenter's famous films, one of, one of his most famous, I would say. Um, really, like, was trying to address issues with capitalism, Reaganism, uh, trickle-down economics, 
homelessness in particular, he famously um, hired a lot of homeless people to be extras in the film and paid them quite well. Um, so, you know, they used um, some real people in it as well, which is great. Uh, Roddy Piper and Peter David have that famous fight scene that's like 15 minutes long. It's awesome. It is, you know, Roddy Piper's not a great actor, but he's good because he's Roddy Piper. Uh, so it's fun. It kicks ass. You know, some stuff goes down at the end. No spoilies for anybody. But, um, so yeah, it's got this idea of a greater concept of social control. Uh, and that is why I paired it with Looker. Uh, Looker is, again, Michael Crichton's film. It's about the beauty industry. In particular, it's a group of models uh, that, well, so it's about this, uh, a series of models who get murdered. And we learn through the process that they all went to one particular plastic surgeon. And this one plastic surgeon did these procedures um, according to a, um, uh, a computer analysis that this company put together for these models to make them look perfect, right? So it's this um, computer scans these women tells him all these little minute things that need to get fixed. And this doctor was like, yeah, I can do it. <laughs> and um, then somebody went and murdered all these women. So we know it's not the doctor. He's kind of the main character of the film. Um, he realizes that they all went to get this computer scan. And so he goes to this place and um, he learns that the main process or the main, the main um, intent of the company is to be able to do lifelike scans of human people so they can insert them digitally into commercials and advertising uh, to do whatever they want, to say whatever they want and to have the perfect marketing experience so that your eyes are always looking in particular at the things you're supposed to be seeing, um, that the construct of beauty matches um, who the product is targeted for, all these sorts of things. And that, and that all can be constructed and manipulated via this computer program. So, Again, it's this idea of, A, we got a lot of marketing and advertising criticism that goes on between these two movies that shared um, sort of the sub subtle subtleties, uh, the subliminal messaging that is kind of built into the American marketing machine and um, the way in which that controls the viewer and the consumer into a particular kind of uh, mindset. And so, yeah, it ends up being a great little murder mystery that ends up being this sort of more interesting sci-fi sci -fi thriller as well. So, again, two great movies. One you've probably seen and love. One maybe you've not heard of, but they work really, really well together. And I suggest doing it as a double feature. So... I'll wrap it up here and um, I guess, you know, one thing I'll plug is I got the, both of these films from diabolicdvd.com and maybe Paul can do like a little thing here. And uh, they're a great independent movie store online that has tons and tons and tons of great stuff on it. Um, and, um, you know, link the podcast or something here maybe and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because that helps the boys out and um, you know we'll see you next week on the B-Movie Mania double feature thing on YouTube alrighty bye